Hey, thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. I'm Landon, and this channel is all about what you can do at home to save you a little bit of money if something happens with your Apple device. Today, we're gonna be going over how to factory reset your M1 or M2 MacBook Pro. If you have an Intel device, this will not work on your computer. You'll have to go to our description below, and we have a video on how to reset your device for you. This will work on the M1, M1 Pro, M2, M2 Pro, M2 Pro Max. The steps that I'm about to show you will fully factory reset your device, and you will lose all information that is currently on it. Make sure you follow these simple steps that I'm about to show you, because it could get a little tricky along the way. Here's the first thing that you're going to want to do to factory reset your MacBook. Power the device fully off. Once you power the device fully off, make sure you wait one to two minutes so that you know nothing is still running. Now you're going to want to press and hold the power button until you hear a chime. Continue holding and other options will appear on the screen. Once it says loading startup options, you can release your finger and new options will appear in a moment. You'll then want to take your cursor and click on options and then continue. These options here will appear, but you're going to click on Disk Utility and then press Continue. Once the next page appears, you want to click on View and then Show All Devices. You are then going to want to click on Apple SSD or Macintosh HD and then click Erase. At this point, it will ask you if you would like to rename your device. You can name it whatever you want if you want to personalize your computer. Once you do that, click on Erase. It will give you a warning that you are about to erase everything on your computer. If you would still like to do that, press Erase Mac. Your computer will ask you if you would like to restart and erase. The Apple with the loading sign will appear and you're going to wait a few minutes for your Mac to reset. Your Mac will turn off and then the Apple with the loading bar will appear again. Now you need to activate your Mac and since you just erased everything on your computer, you need to reconnect to Wi-Fi so you can activate it. Once you put in the password for your Wi-Fi, press continue and a new loading sign will appear. Your computer will tell you that your Mac is now activated and all you have to do is exit recovery. Now it's time for you to install a new operating system on your computer. Once you select the operating system that you're going to install, press continue. Press continue again. Your computer will now begin loading the installation information. This could take anywhere from two to four minutes for the computer to finish. Apple will then prompt you to read your terms and conditions. After you finish that, press I agree. Press agree one more time. Select the disk on which you would like to install your new operating system and press continue. Press continue one more time. If your battery is under 50% on your computer, it will ask you to plug in the charger. This process can take anywhere from two to three hours, so just be patient with it. After your computer has downloaded the software, it will fully restart. You'll see an Apple logo with a loading bar. It'll normally give you a time frame of 15 to 30 minutes. I've seen it personally go from anywhere from an hour to two hours. It really just depends on which computer you have and your Wi-Fi connection. After the computer shuts down one more time, it'll pop back up with a new screen that will allow you to select your region, your Wi-Fi, and even your language. If you've gotten to this screen, great job because you have factory reset your computer. If you can't seem to get your computer to factory reset, there may be an issue. Visit your local repair store or go to our website online and you can send your device in for us to factory reset. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. But while you're here, make sure you subscribe to our channel because more than likely you're going to need us in the future.